Another case of science fiction becoming reality. Researchers in Cleveland are looking at completely different ways to treat stuttering. It involves a virtual simulation lab and is modeled after the Star Trek holodeck. Here's how it works. It looks like a mini movie theater, but these screens are meant to simulate the real world. Can I have a cheeseburger and fries, please? Michael Molinaro is demonstrating how a speech disorder patient could interact with a McDonald's employee. Is it for here or to go? It's able to bridge the skills that they're receiving downstairs at the Cleveland Hearing and Speech Center, as well as with the outside world of what they live with every day. Project developer Dr. Stacy Williams controls the actor's responses with a computer. Hi, welcome to McDonald's. Would you like to try a Big Mac? We can actually create any type of training situation at a touch of a button. Everyday distractions that can be a completely different experience each time. It's a safe environment. It allows them to practice, and they can do it over and over again. Biofeedback monitors measure heart rate and skin temperature. To be able to see if the patient is truly perceiving that learning environment as real. It can benefit students, too. Michael is studying to be a speech pathologist. The program can also put him into a scenario with a parent or a patient. It's fantastic. It's a really amazing learning tool that we can use to become better speech pathologists. They're learning how to interact with people, how to ask important questions, how to gather information, think critically about it, come to a good decision or a diagnosis. Dr. Williams is waiting on FDA approval to allow children to begin using the lab.